What's up guys, Tom Bomb NBA here today. I am bringing you all another just how good video today. It's on Brandon Ingram. I have a lot to say about this guy, but as usual, before we do get into the video, I just want to remind you to please keep this a hate-free video and keep in mind this entire video is all my opinion, but I would be happy to hear your opinion on this on Brandon Ingram in the comment section below because I am totally open with most people's opinions unless it is hateful but anyways guys if you do enjoy the video please be sure to like it and if you plan on staying for some more videos subscribe but let's get straight into the video Brandon Ingram was selected second overall in the 2016 NBA draft as if now he is just 19 years old as he only played one year in college in Duke University. Although Brandon Ingram hasn't absolutely set the NBA world on fire yet, I think he has lots of opportunity just considering he is a rookie and rookies typically take a few years to at least be solid in the NBA or a star, which I think Brandon Ingram has the potential in the NBA to be potentially an all-star. And you also have to consider he is just 19 years old. So far this season, Brandon Ingram has been putting up about 8.5 points, 2 assists, and 4 rebounds. Defensively, he's been putting up half a block and half a steal. As you can see, Brandon Ingram is already... You can see he's already developing like an all-around game. I mean, you, you see some of the traits that are similar to LeBron James. I mean, LeBron struggled from three-point as well as Brandon Ingram his rookie season. So far, he's sh shooting about 30% from the three-point line. From the field, he's shooting about 38%, and from free throw, he's shooting 62 But as you can see, these numbers are like mini LeBron James. Of course, LeBron James' numbers are so much better. Please don't go hate on me now that I've said that. But, I mean, you see his kind of complimentary... Uh, style of play. It's kind of like Kevin Durant's as well. Um, kind of a combination in between though, except I don't think he, he's definitely not as efficient as LeBron James or Kevin Durant. But I mean, again, he's still young. He has lots of, uh, lots of time to improve his field goal percentage, which isn't the best right now, but it's, it's kind of a phase. You see with Devin Booker and lots of other young shooting guards, small forwards, and point guards, they typically tend to have lower field goal percentages, which it, it's all right, okay? I mean, especially when you're not really, like, the main focus and you, you don't have someone on your team that gets you open shots consistently. Like, if you had James Harden on his team, he would definitely have a bunch of open three-pointers. I mean, Brandon Ingram, guys, if he has, like, a good playmaking point guard I'm not hating on D'Angelo D'Angelo Russell is just very young but if he has a good point guard by his side to get him open shots I definitely think his his field goal percentage could go up to around 50 percent and again for the third time Again, it's because he's young, but I believe over time his percentages will improve. I also think his stats can improve um, I mean, these aren't like crazy rookie season statistical outputs, but I mean, they're still solid. Like, again, he's not setting the NBA on fire saying, and nobody's saying like Brandon Ingram is going to be a future superstar or even all-star. But I believe if Brandon Ingram has the right team around him, he can be a solid thir third option on a team putting up like 20 points per game somewhere around there like five assists and eight rebounds. And looking at that stat line, I just said offensively, like that's not a bad stat line. Like that is all star level. Anyways, guys, that was all about Brandon Ingram's stats. But as we do know, the game of basketball has to do with a lot more than just stats. So let's go more deeper into Brandon Ingram. One thing that is very good about Brandon Ingram is he is a two-way player already in just his rookie season. He may not be like a top 20 defensive player in the NBA, but he is definitely a top five rookie defensive player because this guy is actually pretty solid on the defensive end and then pretty solid on the offensive end as well because if you don't really play defense... <sighs> 
you're you're never known to be as good of a player. I mean, we've seen it in James Harden before, even though he's an absolute beast. People still get at him for his defense. But people in Brandon Ingram's future will not be able to come up with that excuse or saying to say that he's a bad player in terms of defense because Brandon Ingram is a is actually a solid player defensively and offensively too. I mean, he scores, he gets two assists per game, which isn't going to like set the world on fire, but as that goes up, especially for a six foot nine player, like getting five assists per game is still very solid. Sorry guys, I'm talking about his stats, but another thing that is very nice about Brandon Ingram is he shares the ball, okay? I know he's just a rookie, I've said this multiple times in the video, but he does share the ball. Um, assists don't mean everything, but it's not like he's going to just be a ball hog, or he doesn't like take stupid shots at the end of games, such as, you know, Russell Westbrook may do sometimes like he's smart he has a high basketball IQ which is something lots of players are lots of coaches and fans in general front offices like in players in general I mean look at LeBron he has a very very high IQ and look where his career is heading Kyrie Irving high IQ he, you know Brandon Ingram is just very smart with the ball in his hands also to mention that he's only getting one and a half turnovers per game and 28 minutes per game. That is actually very solid, and I know he's not the main ball handler or anything, but I mean, it's still like one and a half turnovers in your rookie season. That is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, this guy, again, such a high IQ. All right, guys, so to talk about the final subject of the video, Brandon Ingram comparing to other vi players like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, like I've already said, uh, possibly like a Paul George. Guys, he is just like these players. Paul George, like, you know, these players are much more consistent than Brandon Ingram, but Brandon Ingram, um, like I've said er Earlier in the video, he has a chance to up his percentages from the field and the three-point range, which I believe he'll do. I mean, he's kind of starting out his career slow, somewhat similar to Paul George. And, you know, he's like LeBron because of his stat line. I mean, it's, like, so balanced. Kevin Durant, like, how his body is shaped, six foot nine, Anyways, 190 guys, pounds, very skinny. thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I gotta go places, so see y'all on the flip side. Wait, I've never said that before. That was kind of weird.